Hi! To cut your own hair, you will need clippers with attachment guards, a spray bottle, a mirror, a pair of sharp scissors, and a regular comb. Put a number three attachment guard on your clippers and start cutting the sides moving towards the back of your head. Remember to keep the hair dry. It is nearly impossible to cut wet hair properly with clippers. Start from a temple area and go up to approximately two fingers above your ear. Keep going up and fading out. Don't go too high as you need to leave room for blending. You need to pull your ear down and work your way up to the occipital bone, or the line where the head begins to curve. Keep the consistent technique all the way around your head, going up and fading out to leave smooth line for blending. It is important to go against the natural direction of the hair growth to have a nice, clean, and precise haircut. When you reach the other side of your head, remember to keep the same level around your temple area at approximately two fingers above your ear. Next, blend the top into the sides. Change the attachment guard to number four. Start to blend the shorter hair into the longer hair above. Use the fading out motion to cut only a tip of the hair of your blending line. Go approximately two fingers above your blending line. Start blending from one side of your head and move smoothly towards the back and the other side of your head. Don't put any pressure on your clippers. Remember, move your hand with the clippers nice and steady, up and out. Try to keep consistent movement all the way around the head as you are only cutting the tips of the hair. Next step, tapering hairline. Change the attachment guard to number two. Start tapering along the hairline and go towards the back and other side of the head. Fold your ear down to get a more accurate cut. Don't taper too high, go up only a little bit above your hairline. Once you reach the back of your head, put the clippers upwards into your hand as it makes it easier to work with. Tapering along the hairline will create gradually fade into your haircut and will make it look more natural. Also, your haircut will look fresh for longer. Next step, clean up along the hairline. Take the attachment guard off as you will need to work with zero blade now. Remember, while cutting around the ears, to pull them down to get a more accurate cut. Keep your hand steady as the clippers can be quite sharp. Don't cut too much into your natural hairline, otherwise you can end up with the white marked lines. It is better to do this step slowly. Try to trim only the edges and excessive hair of your neck. It would be ideal if someone could help with the back of your head to create a nice straight line. Otherwise, clean up the hairline around the back of the neck with the clippers attachment number one. Don't go too high, only a little bit above your hairline. Once the sides and back are finished, you can move on to the top section. I'm going to use scissors for the top section, so make sure to wet the hair as that will make it much easier to cut. First, you need to cut a guideline. It's an imaginary line from the forehead to the crown, the center of the head. The length you create here will determine the way you approach the rest of the haircut. Cut the hair to the length you want between your index and middle fingers following the natural head shape and moving towards crown area, leaving the hair a little bit longer around the crown. 
Your guideline is now done. From now on, cut in sections next to guideline to the one side of the head. When starting a new section, always take a little bit of hair from the previously cut section, as you can see here. This is how you will know the length to cut in the new section. Move to the other side of the head and repeat the same technique, cutting section by section. Make sure to keep the hair wet when using scissors, as it will make it more easier to cut. Next, trim the bangs, or fringe. Combing the hair forward, use the point cutting technique in order to get nicely texturized bangs, positioning the scissors sideways to achieve the proper angled cuts. But remember, wet hair shortens as it dries, so be careful not to cut too much. Next, styling and finishing. Firstly, be sure to comb out all loose hair and trimmings. Dry the hair thoroughly with a hair dryer, if you don't have a hair dryer, use a towel. Finish the look by using your preferred hair styling product. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed today's self haircut tutorial and learned something new. Make sure to leave any questions in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful. Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when I post new content.